In this video, we're going to play a game that I like to call, What is the better deal? So let's look at an example. Let's say there's a 16 ounce bottle of shampoo that costs $4. And let's say there's another bottle of that shampoo on the right next to it on the store shelf. It's the same brand, same shampoo, just a different size. It's 35 ounces and it costs $7. Pause this video and think about which is the better deal. So there's several ways of approaching this. You might see that, wow, 35 ounces is more, more than double 16 ounces, and the price isn't more than double $4, so this is probably the better deal. But just in case it doesn't jump out at you that way, you could think about something known as unit pricing or unit costs. And the way we could do that is we could take the price, let's say in this top example, the bottle costs $4, and then we'll divide it by the number of ounces we have. Divided by 16 ounces, you might recognize that this is going to be 25 cents an ounce. You might be able to do that math in your head, or you could put punch that into a calculator, 25 cents per, per ounce. The other situation, right over here, if we took 35, or we took $7, I should say, $7 divided by 35 ounces, if you do the math there, that is going to be 20 cents. 20 cents per ounce. And so here you're able to make an apples to apple, apples comparison. You know where you're paying more or less per ounce. And we can see that our, our initial intuition, our initial gut was right. That the larger bottle here is indeed cheaper. And that's why you see sometimes people like to buy the larger sizes. Sometimes they'll buy in bulk because it's often the case that the larger sizes, you get it cheaper per unit, per ounce, per use, per square foot, whatever we're talking about. Now, it is good to verify. I have sometimes been in a store where the bulk pricing actually is not cheaper than the less bulk pricing. So always try to do the math. Maybe you walk around with a calculator, or it turns out in many stores, they do the unit pricing for you. So this is an example of a price that, or uh, something that you might see for the price at a store. And this looks like it's some kind of, I don't know, toilet paper or something. It says six rolls of ultra comfort care, something or another. And the price here is $8.49, but they give us the unit pricing. It's right over here. They're saying $5.02 per square foot. So if there was another different size of this exact same toilet paper, you could compare it on a per square foot basis to figure out which is cheaper. Or maybe there's two brands that also are coming in different sizes. You can compare which is cheaper by looking at the per square feet. It'd be more grammatically correct to say per square foot, but I think you get the idea. And it's not always going to be per square foot. It might be per ounce. It might be per use. But the important thing is that you're comparing the same units to figure out which one is the better deal.